Okay, I didn't really mean to be in this video, but I'm watching the kids right now alone um, because their dad had to go to Charlotte. So, um, but I was still feeling moved to do a reading. Now, this reading is kind of um, different. I was going to bend the camera down so you could see the table, but my table's like half set up for my five o'clock session with my field of shift women. So, you know, I don't want to expose everything that's set up for them right now. So anyway, Spirit moved me today to like select certain cards from the Torah that would, when set up and channeled correctly, will tell a story. Okay, now, the story is what I've been trying to get right now. I've been trying to feel you guys' energy, the ones that are going to be drawn to this reading. And I'm like, what do they want to know? What message is coming is what I got first. Um, What's coming in? What should I expect? What surprises are on the other side of this new year? So, what I decide to look at is your energy. The energy of someone that's going to be very dominant in your um, life starting in 2022 and um, the energy they're bringing in or any uh, new opportunities or messages that are going to come and then like the vibration or the energy overall for you. The outcome pretty much of, I guess, this person and you unifying or the message or opportunities that come through. Okay, so I hope that was clear. Um, so this is how we're going to do it. It's a general reading, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three different scenarios. So I'm going to give you three crystals to choose from. I believe I'm going to choose crystals because now they're showing me other objects like mm, maybe not crystals today. Um, let me see. of treats right all right give me one minute i'm surrounded by energy all my stuff is right around me i'm surprised no kid has popped up in here yet So you have three objects to choose from. This is the first one. This will represent scenario number one. Okay. Scenario number two. face please forgive me like I said I was not planning on being on camera but my um camera hold has been acting shifty and I'm scared to like keep bending it downwards downwards and then by chance it just comes off all together while I'm filming so I said let me just let well enough be alone be just let it be and this is choice number three taking a deep breath you know um and don't really think hard on it whatever you were attracted to initially go with that okay oh I look terrible today I'm so sorry guys please forgive me <laughs> sometimes spirit just moves you and spirit is like I don't care what you look like let's go some people need some messages some people need some guidance do what I gotta do. Okay, 
So by now you should have made your choice. So we're going to start with scenario number one. If you chose this bountiful basket here, then you are really, really expecting a great harvest to come in in this new year. Um, things that you've been working on, you're going to start to see the fruition. You're going to start to see them growing. Um, it's going to bring a big change in your life, like from night to day. Because I'm looking at the leaves on the back. They're representing autumn. They're going through color changes. And I'm just getting a feeling of a change. This bounty, this blessing that's coming in is going to bring a major change in your life. Um, maybe you are not financially stable and you're going to be. Um, I see you eating very good, getting your health together because you're financially able to. Um, I just see stability. I see by the fall next year, you looking back at your life and saying, wow, like how did I get here from there? It's going to be like coming out of the mud and being clean. You need to check that song out. Um, million. Now I got a million. Well, I got a million by Toby and Guigue. But yeah, that's going to be the energy you're going to be feeling. Like uh, at last, you know. And it's not too much, but it's a lot. Okay. So that's good. All right, let's see your energy. I decided to shuffle these live so y'all don't try to say, oh, you had it set up so that this would come out like this. Okay. All right. So how are you handling um, reaping all you've sown moving into 2022? Are you handling this gracefully? Oh, you are. Okay. Very intelligently, very strategically, you're planning out every move. You're budgeting. You ain't taking no bullshit. You only want honesty. You are guarded. You're not sharing every move you're making. And um, I see travel coming overseas. I see you looking off to doing work internationally, spreading your wings, um, being known internationally, really. Yeah. People looking up to you. You're like up on a pedestal and very calm and very humble energy. Let's see who's going to be playing a dominant energy alongside you. Not necessarily a romantic energy, so we'll see. Let's just shuffle this one. Okay, who's going to be a dominant energy that we'll be dealing with? Hmm. A Knight of Wands. Somebody who's going to come through with some vibrant, creative energy, who's going to be a lot of fun, who's going to get you to stop being so doggone serious and um, have a little fun. Put down your roots somewhere. Stop traveling so much. Um, focus on something that you're very passionate about. This person's going to bring a lot of passion into your life. Um, yeah, they're going to bring a lot of, of fire into your life. They're going to make you feel safe and um, give you that opportunity to enjoy the fruits of your labor. That's what I'm getting. All right, so let's see what messages, if any, are coming through uh, um, for my bountiful basket, pal. Oh. Whoa, okay. So we have the magician. And what that tells me is that the uh, message or the energy coming through is everything you've been manifesting is manifesting. Everything you've been trying to manifest is going to manifest is what I mean. You have a manifesting energy about you right now that what you focus your mind on is going to happen. You're going to do it. So the message coming into you in 2022 is stay focused. You have the divine on your side. Listen to your intuition. And everything that you dream is about to happen. Okay, last but not least, let's get the end result of this person and this energy 
and just the overall feel moving forward through the year. This could be the vibe later on in the year. I'm not necessarily saying the beginning of the year. Wow. This is what you're manifesting. Emotional fulfillment. So this fun, loving, stable, passionate, sexy night of wands is going to come in or already has and they're going to give you some emotional fulfillment. They're going to make you feel like you could be with them forever. They're going to be with you forever. Children are possible. Um, if you don't have children already, there's going to be some. Or there's going to be additions. Um, this union is, is being a divinely put together. I just got like this glow on the card as I was holding it. But it's the Ten of Cups. It's like... The greatest fulfillment emotionally, happily ever after type energy. So that's what you're manifesting. That's what you're bringing in, calling in for 2022. My bountiful basket, pal. Y'all have a nice year coming up. Enjoy. Please subscribe to my channel. You know I love you for it. I still love you if you don't do it. You know what I'm saying? As long as you ain't coming on here to troll or hate. <laughs> Peace, blessings, and all that good stuff that comes with being a part of my tribe. All right, let's go to number two. For those who are attracted to this carnelian crystal organite, I believe they're called, when you encase it in this uh, glass material or fiber or whatever it is. Anyway, it's carnelian crystal. And um, what I'm getting for you going into 2022, my dears, is an energy of never-ending, everlasting creativity. Just feeling like you have so many ideas coming through. Um, and spirit is coming through to let you know that there's time. That you don't have to rush. You don't have to put everything out at one time. That there is time for you to slowly start to pace yourself. That you're... Um, going to burn out pace yourself put everything out give everything a date don't share everything and slowly 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 put everything out you're gonna have the time to do it all but you're going to feel a huge creative surge a huge one coming into 2022 so embrace that energy especially if you're an artist all right let's see what your vibe is going to be Dang, it already jumped right out. I'll take it. Wow. So you're going into 2022 feeling yourself. You're the empress. You're all the queens of the deck embodied into one. You may be ready to give birth to new creative ideas, something new. You're in the vibe of putting out something new that is about to be born and just be a great blessing. You see the sun above her head and she just looks so at peace and so worry-free she knows that what she is about to give birth to is going to hold her down and her generations down. She may even physically become pregnant. So if that's not what you want, then you need to um, protect yourself from that. But that is the energy you're moving into or that you are in moving into 2022. My Cornelians is what I'll call you. Now let's see who's going to play a dominant energy opposite you. Sorry, I'm nosy. Somebody walking by my house. I'm going to look to see who you are. <laughs> I'm from New York. Sorry, we don't trust nobody. <laughs> okay, let's see. Who's going to be with this empress? Whoa. These knights are coming out, huh? We have a knight of swords. So. Empress. You got somebody who is wanting to come rushing into you because they can see you in your empress glory and they want to try to right a wrong or tell a truth and they're trying to do it before the new year before you go into the next year um and possibly um 
release them completely behind in this year. Their goal is to reach you before it's too late, is the is the words I'm hearing. Got to get to you before it's too late. Um, they are being supported in this by spirit. They're being motivated to do this. Maybe they owe you this. Um, coming forward with some kind of truth. However, you are really in like a peace state. You can do with or without it is what I'm getting. It won't make or break you. But yes, that's uh, energy that's coming towards you going into 2022. Let's see what the message may be. devil here so the message is somebody's obsessing they can't get you out their head they can't stop thinking about you they almost feel like they have no control over their thoughts like you have some kind of magic over them they um feel like you guys are supposed to be together um they refuse to see any other way and um it's bothering them, it's stressing them out because apparently they're not with you if they're here running back in. This could be an ex-lover, this could be an ex-friend. Let's see the outcome of this or the, you know, any advice with this or how is this going to play out? What vibration or energy do you need to be in? Focusing on your creativity is what I'm hearing. Focus on your projects and what you got going on. Don't worry about this fool that's obsessed with you. Ooh. Yep. This is the outcome. The star. You go on and continue to be a star and to shine and to reach all of your dreams and all of your goals. And um, that person will have no hold on you. And the hold that they think you have on them is all in their head. And that's your vibe. Stay with your eye on the prize. Stay focused on um, honing your creativity and your gifts and your new projects and ideas that you have. That's all you need to be worried about. Don't worry about nobody that's coming in. It's nice. They want to come and tell you the truth. But if they're going to come in in an obsessive way like it's their way or the highway your mind or no, and no one else's type energy then you're gonna have to really shift your focus off this person and really leave them behind in 2021 all right my dears i'm sorry i'm just hoping that that doesn't turn or escalate into anything else crazy the moment that you feel like the person is stepping out of line make sure that you you check it and I mean, reach out to an authority figure or anyone if you feel in danger. Not saying this person's going to hurt you, but the energy I'm getting from them with the Knight of Swords rushing in, feeling like, oh my God, I'm missing an opportunity. Um, wanting to tell their truth to the devil right next to it, which is someone who's very obsessed and passionately obsessed, like really feeling like they have to be with you or around you. Um, that can escalate to something stupid. So just keep your eye open. All right? And keep your shield up. All right, my pile number twos, my Cornelians, my creative artists. Peace and blessings and all that good stuff that comes from being a part of my tribe. All right. Last but not least, we have my Ladybug group. You chose the ladybug going into 2022. You are going to feel very lucky. You're going to feel like things are just happening out of nowhere. Almost like you're getting things that you are like, whoa, why am I getting this? But I'm not going to question it. I'll take it. Or, wow, I can't believe I got this. It's going to be a lot of um, like things that you're going to look at as a miracle, um, God's hand, um, angelic intervention, um, tower moments that give birth to beautiful gardens. Like, it's going to be a lot of very lucky, 
happy, surprising moments for you coming into 2022. So that means spirit might not want to tell you too much because sometimes when it's stuff that's, whoa, okay, maybe they will. I'm sorry. Look at me talking for spirit and almost got the cards knocked out my hands. All right, well, let's see what vibe you going into 2022 with. I just figured, you know, when it's a luck thing or a miracle thing, they want you to be surprised. They might not share too much, but we'll see. Maybe those of you that chose the ladybug, your guides want to reveal a little bit more to you, give you some clarity about something that maybe you weren't too sure about. So let's see what your vibe, your vibration is moving into 2022. We have you coming through. It's the Queen of Wands, my dear. Now she did come through reverse for a minute, but I'm not really reading reversals. But what that does say a little bit about you is that you don't recognize that you are the Queen of Wands. That maybe sometimes you doubt your powers. You're a master manifester. You're beautiful. You attract, you attract a lot of attention that you don't realize. A lot of people admire you, um, not just for your looks, but also for your ability to like bounce back from things, from setbacks. You always seem to get what you want. No matter how you struggle, no matter how it might look like you won't, the Queen of Wands is a star. She manifests what she wants. She gets what she wants. So just make sure going into 2022, you keep that mindset, okay? And don't doubt your ability to call in all that you want. Let's see the energy that's going to be dominant in your life, my ladybugs. And then, you know, male ladybugs are called ladybugs too. So, all the male ladybugs? Look at me in my ignorance. I think they, I thought they had male and female sex organs, but don't take my word for it, honey. I failed science. I failed math. I am an English philosophy geek in that DM. Okay? Let's see. Bring them out. Bring them out. Wow. So you have a female that's going to be kind of dominant. Queen of feminine energy. A queen of pentacles, okay? Somebody who is very good financially, very financially stable. And she also came through a little reverse. So she's a little bit doubting her abilities to manifest her prosperity, which is her birthright. And you two coming together is looking like a union that is going to bring you both your dreams coming true through the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands can recognize her ability to manifest prosperity and abundance. And through the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles can see her ability to manifest anything she wants. Okay? They both really respect each other. They both learn from each other. Um, this is going to be a beautiful union moving in if you both can maintain your confidence and you both are open to learning from each other. Okay, let's see what's this union going to be about or like what's the message coming through. So I'm not picking up romance really. These are two queens, two mature women. I'm picking up more uh, working together, business. Um, I feel like the Queen of Pentacles is more of a mentor to the Queen of Wands. Even if the Queen of Wands may be a little older. The Queen of Pentacles is older, is an older soul, I'm getting. The Queen of Wands is a tad bit of a younger soul. Both very protected. Alrighty. Okay. We have the Hierophant. The Hierophant came through reversed. When you get the hair font reversed, it's somebody who's a non-traditionalist. So I'm getting this Queen of Pentacles is coming through into your life um, and going to be a very dominant figure in your life in 2022. Even if this person is already in your life, they're going to be more dominant in your life when it comes to your spiritual work and spirituality. They're going to show you how to learn the traditions, but also how to make them work for you in the now. Um, how to make them fit you, 
how to uh, adjust them to your lifestyle, okay? And um, through you, through you learning this, it increases your ability to manifest, okay? It's almost like the Queen of Pentacles is looking at the Queen of Wands like a proud mother or a teacher looking at her student. Maybe one of you guys picked this and it's me. <laughs> I'm the Queen of Wands. I'm the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, maybe one of you guys is in my workshop. I don't know. If you're in field of shift and you chose this pile, then yeah, we need to talk, yo. We can make some money together. But um, yeah, it's if you look at how the Queen of Pentacles is looking at the Queen of Wands, acknowledge her magic acknowledge her ability to manifest it's like yes you did it i knew you could i was always confident in you and the queen of wands is looking like wow i did it yo so i feel like this is someone who's going to feel like a mentor to you or a teacher regardless of the age difference queen of pentacles is an older soul queen of wands you have a tad bit of a younger soul but you're older in this lifetime all righty wow that's nice to go into 2022 um, being spiritually guided uh, and uh, heading towards prosperity and good partnerships. Let's see the outcome or any advice um, that they may have for you going forward in this new connection or renewed or up-leveled connection that might already exist and is going to grow further. Okay. All right. This person, the outcome is they're going to help you end a cycle that you have not, you've been like on a treadmill, just repeating, 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 repeating. It has something to do with a fear, um, abandonment, rejection, judgment guilt um shame i'm hearing all of those uh might not be all of them but one of them for whoever it resonates with um this person's coming through to help you release some things and let some things go so that you see this is the world card so that you can have your new beginning so that you can have your spiritual awakening so that you can um finally get out of this cycle that you were in of constantly um feeling this energy okay and that's pretty much what the outcome is going to be of this union is this person is going to really spiritually help you ascend and release things that don't serve your purpose any further and they're going to show you how to do it in a way that fits you and your lifestyle and not forces you to conform to any other ancient guru or whatever doctor or medic says is the way and that's pretty much what i have for you my um ladybugs um i hope you all enjoyed these readings today i did enjoy giving them um i was feeling kind of tired at first when i started the spirit was like you better do them readings so i guess they gave me the boost i needed um they're calling me to the angel um numbers so i'm gonna give you an angel number today for them we got the number seven One zero, oh, so seven ten five seven ten five is your angel number for today. Google it. Um, you can let me know in the comments what you got, and um, enjoy the rest of your day. Peace, blessings, and all that good stuff that comes from being a part of my tribe. I love you guys.